All right, so what's going on there, everybody on YouTube land? I had to welcome y'all back to the game room. I am Professor Joe Casey. Uh, I, I normally don't talk about movies on here, but since I don't already did leave the world behind, I, I'm, I'm gonna just knock out. I'm gonna knock out one more. I'm gonna knock out one more uh, hidden gem of knowledge. Cause y'all know I'm, I'm, I'm the hidden gem dude, man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm the only one on YouTube who done probably done put out more hidden gems than, than Metal Jesus. Uh, like G shit, G shit. Uh, we got to go over to, to Hunger Games though, man. One of my favorite, one of my favorite books, series of books. Uh, I even like the movies. I even like the movies. Uh, they just, they just had this uh, songs of uh, what? Ballads of Snakes. I can't even, I can't even remember the name of the, of the movie. It just came out. Good movie, good movie, good movie. Everybody wondering though about this Lucy Gray character. Like did uh, Snow get her? There's the no delusion in the woods uh, Well he's delusional After he got hit by the snake bite And you know shooting all over the place And all that good stuff there. I don't want to go too much deep in there I don't want to go too too deep in there But uh, a lot of people are speculating That uh, Lucy Gray Turned into President Corn Of the, of the 13th District I don't think that I, I, I don't think that's Lucy Gray Because President Corn Was described as being in her 50s and then, you know, uh, Snow, he was in his 80s, you feel me, when uh, he was going through it with Katniss. So what I think, though, I think Corn is the daughter of Lucy. And I think Snow and Lucy are, I think Snow and Lucy related, but I don't think Snow is is Lucy Gray, and I don't think Katniss is a granddaughter. You know what I mean? But I, I've, been seeing, I've been seeing a lot of little, little goofy on. Um, Little stuff going on the web, and people got their own little, little suggestions. But you know, Hunger Games is one of those few series that is, man, it's kind of hard not to get caught up in, in in that. You know what I'm saying? It's it's one of the few series that that's really not goofy. You know, like if you if you were to get caught up in some Lord of the Rings shit and start speculating on what's going on in, in their universe and shit like that, I mean, like that's kind of goofy. But like like I think Hunger Games is up there as far as being urban and cool. With like the power universe, you know, like people like speculating on what's going on with Tariq. Even though I had to start watching Power, <laughs> no disrespect to Power. <laughs> the first when when James St. Patrick was there, it was cool. It, it was some goofy stuff going on 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 the regular Power, but that that book too. Nah, after the first season, I was just like man, it, it it just got too much. It was just too it was too overwhelming. And I I loved I loved the series, but I had to get that shit up, man. I had to give it up, man. I couldn't watch that shit no more, man. Cause you, you damn near you gotta brainwash yourself. You gotta wash. <laughs> you gotta wash it. <laughs> you gotta brainwash your mind after after, after every goddamn episode. So some of the bullshit don't fester. You know, some of the bullshit don't fester, man. Cause like a lot of people gotta understand this too, man. When when you absorb content, you have to always absorb content consciously. So sometimes you might be absorbing content, and this, this is why a lot of people get triggered. They get triggered, and they lose their goddamn mind when they see stuff they don't want to see because they don't know how to go back after absorbing something. And, uh, you know, sometimes you got to pull up the weed because every time you like, like when you listening to me right now, I'm planting seeds in your brain, whether you like it or not. When you listen to anybody on YouTube, they plant seeds. When you watch anything, they plant seeds in your subconscious. Sometimes you got to go back and dig up the seeds that you don't want to be planted. This is why these companies be doing advertising. I'm giving y'all some game right now. Okay, I, I, might, I might advertise Burger King. You might see an advertisement for Burger King a hundred times. The first time, you might be like, I don't want that goddamn Whopper. Second time, I fuck that Whopper. The 90th time, you might start thinking, man, that Whopper look kind of good. Because you're just watching it and you're just going on about your business. You're not processing what you're watching. You let people just keep on planting stuff in your subconscious. Eventually, one of them seeds gonna go into a tree. So, so it, you gotta be, and you know, I don't want to get too deep on that, but you gotta be very, you gotta be conscious when you watching shit. Like, I know everybody hate that that woke shit. Now you gotta be woke on on, on the people who trying to get you woke. So you gotta be careful uh, what you digest, man. That's all I'm saying. Sometimes you gotta you gotta be cognizant. Uh, hey, man. After you don't watch some shit and you feeling kind of dirty in your mind, you gotta bathe your brain. 
Sometimes you got to clean your brain. Same way you got to flush your body out. You got to flush all the toxins out your body. You got to flux, flush some of that information that you be digesting. You know what I mean? To, to make sure that your, your shit don't get too grimy. It don't get too gunky. It don't get too gunky. But I don't know how I got all the way over there. We supposed to be talking about Lucy Gray. But uh, I definitely recommend everybody go watch this new Hunger Games. I, I recommend you just go watch the whole series, man. Just watch the whole series and and like it, it it will shape it will shape how you see stuff. It will shape how you see stuff, and then you might even you might even see some some humanity and some common sense in in, in what these people got going on. Cause a lot of people be like, man, it, I don't want to watch the Hunger Games. They got kids fighting to, to the death and and all that shit. It don't make no sense. Nobody want to watch that. None of that shit make make any sense. But then you got you got to ask yourself if. They had a ceremony every year, and only 24 kids died. 24 kids were sacrificed every year. That's how, that's how humans was able to get their, their bloodlust under control. That's how they was able to quell their, 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 their uh, need for war, by letting these kids take on the burden of the evil of humanity. 24 kids. Now switch it around to what what happens in real life. How many kids you think die every year from war? Way more than twenty four. See if you look at it from that, you look at it from that perspective. <laughs> yeah, because way more than way more than twenty four kids, way more than twenty four kids die every hour from war in the world, man. It's a sickening place. Every hour, more than twenty four kids die from war, man. This shit crazy at you. So. If, when you look at from when you look at the Hunger Games from that perspective, see, a lot of people think, "Oh man, this they uh it, it was for the punish the twelve districts for rising up against the the capital." Maybe it was just, "Hey man, war is inevitable." So this how we control the war. The war 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 will never stop. So maybe if we put this shit on 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 a few people who don't deserve it. Who don't deserve it? It's crazy. It's sad. It's it's it's, it's barbaric. It's pitiful. It's horrible. That twenty four people who don't deserve it has to bear the burden for the sins of everybody else. In in in, in ways in in a lot of ways, the Hunger Game mirrors the story of Jesus. How Jesus had to bear the burdens. If you if you subscribe to that type of rhetoric of the whole world. These kids, they gotta bear, they gotta bear the burden of everybody in society every year when they gotta do these goofy ass reapings and go fight these battles. It's man, it, it's deep when you look at it from the pop perspective. It's real deep, man. It's a great book, great series of books, man. Uh, I definitely recommend everybody. You know, just if you if you're not into watching the movies, just watch the book. I mean, read the books. You know what I'm saying? And uh, cause the books gonna you gonna get way more out the books anyway. You gonna get way more out the books anyway. You know, there's only so much somebody can put in the movie because you know they know everybody got short attention spans. That's why most of the YouTube videos are like ten minutes. Most people, most popular people know, hey man, keep that shit between ten and fifteen minutes. Every once in a while, you know, you might you might get a certain group of people and they really like your content. They'll listen to you talk for an hour or two. Those people are reserved for Patreons, man. Like, all right, them people who just really support you, they want to just hear you just drop game. Okay, man, take your ass over to Patreon. And, you know, we'll give you some of these hour-long programs. We'll give you some of these special shows. Speaking of special shows, I got some shows shadow dropping. I'm not even going to say the names of the shows. I'm not even going to say what they buy. They just going to shadow drop. They just going to hit y'all out of nowhere. And y'all going to be like, man, this shit is crazy. <laughs> they just going to drop out of nowhere, man. Good-ass shows, man. I'm talking about good-ass shows. I'm talking about a whole new, nothing like what you used to. Nothing like what you used to. And I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, I'm Professor Joe Casey. I'm going to highlight y'all later. Y'all stay cool on your stool. Understand the cooking with two peas in the pot. They ain't cooking it. The stove ain't hot. I'll holler at you.